My name is Ruth Shakira Olubodu. I was a Muslim and um, I love God so much but I don't know how to serve him right. I usually ask questions about God, who he is. I really wanted to have a relationship with him. So many questions in my mind but there was no answer to my questions. In the Islamic way where I was serving, I do all I'm supposed to do. As an Islam, you must make five days, five times prayer per day. You must not miss it. If you missed it, it was to call you. It's, it's, it's very equivalent to you are going God and you are just scared everywhere. I love God that much that I don't miss the prayer. No matter how sick I am, I have to crawl down to, to do my five times prayer a day until I wasn't finding peace, I wasn't having joy in myself. A neighbor of mine who was going for a program one day always see that I'm always sad. I don't have to, I don't laugh I don't laugh I'm always sad and all that. He just encouraged he just encouraged me to please follow her somewhere even without telling me where we were going. He said just I could that I could just free myself from this burden that I'm carrying. That she doesn't even want to know about if I don't wish to tell her. So when I followed her, unknowing to me it was a church, I was very vexed with her that why would you bring me to a church? This is like, you can't allow me, so I didn't enter, I just stayed outside the church. So she didn't quarrel with me, she said I can stay there, but please look and watch over me. And as the prayer was going on inside, the man of God inside that church, the church was, the church was in Amadia. The man of God came out and I said somebody is out there that needs to give her life to Christ. So I, he came outside to drag me in. I said, I need to give my life to her. I said, I can't give my life to because I'm a Muslim and it can't work. So as soon as he, he was talking and he encouraged me, he told me so many, so many things about my past that nobody knows about. I was very scared. I told myself, I will do this no matter what it takes. I'll give my life to Christ, which I did. It wasn't very funny anyway. That day, it wasn't funny. Secretly, I started going to church. And as soon as I started getting to know in my heart, I go to church, it was a warfare. But then I told God something, that if Christians talk to God, that I, need to, I, need to, I need him to teach me how he will talk to me too. So I had an encounter with him. He made me understand how he speaks to me. He made me understand when the devil speaks to me too. It was a beautiful encounter. I was able to call him Father. I enjoyed my encounter with him. Thus far, I have not regretted I gave my life to Christ. It was an awesome encounter. I give God the praise, all the worship. Even my dad has given his life to Christ now. My immediate brother too has given his life to Christ. So I'm still trusting God for my other brothers to give their life to Christ. My very close cousins have given his life to Christ because Christ has taught them so well. I had so many beautiful encounters which I can't finish sharing here, but I have not regretted giving my life to Christ.